Okay, so what I'm about to do, do now is build a, f uh, a fence for a platform, which I'm going to obviously paint as well, but this is a platform for a station, uh, the same station that I'm building that guardrail for. Um, and so um, this platform, I was going to put a fence around it and um, basically, I've already taken the step, and you've seen me doing the soldering before, but I've already taken the step of taking some brass wire, like I have here. Um, uh, like this brass wire here, and I basically uh, bent it to the shape of the platform that I'm looking to surround with the fencing. Uh, and uh, just for clarity, the, the brass the brass rods that I actually used for this fence is is actually 360 fourths um, and a 1.19 millimeter uh, brass rod. Uh, I figured it's, it's a little it's a little bit um, lesser in diameter and a bit more appropriate for the platform. Um, now typically if you want to create more realism you can actually space out your verticals a bit further apart but I am spacing them out I think uh, at uh, 1.5 uh, centimeters apart and equal height as well reason being is because some of this height will be consumed by the height of the plat platform and so therefore you'll obviously have a, a slightly lower height once you put it around the platform okay um, there so uh, the intent now is obviously I've, I've, I've soldered the, the joints um, for the verticals onto this main piece of wire, uh, which is also brass wire. And now the intent is to put create the actual fencing around this. And so there are many things you can use, but again, to keep things cost effective, uh, I've, all, I've always kept these in hand. These are actually, I, I guess they're ribbon or tool. Um, the tool, I guess they call them, uh, and you can buy them at uh, your typical craft store. Uh, and I've I caught a few different types here, and this one's a little glossy, a little, uh, a little shiny, shimmery. Uh, but uh, you know, I've got that. I've got the, something that's a little bit more darker, but also got a bit of a little glisten to it. Uh, but they also form some nice, nice fencing, uh, fencing uh, material. Uh, but uh, what I find best that works best is actually uh, the wedding tool. Um, and so you, you get them in um, the uh, the white the white material here. Um, let me show that to you. And so you put that along here, and it looks very realistic uh, for your fence. Um, so uh, I got the white, and I also have the black uh, version of this. Um, wedding tube. Uh, so what I do is um, I would if I was going to paint this paint this uh, this fence uh, gray I would then use the white uh, and then obviously attach it first spray the whole thing with paint but because I'm going to be using uh, I'm planning on painting this black um, I'm going to just first paint uh, the frame black uh, and thereafter glue on the black tool onto it okay all right so let me first paint this and I'll take you through the next steps okay I've got the fan going I've got the uh, fencing sitting over here and I've got my trusty black Rust-Oleum paint Fast drying, sodium paint. And here we go.
Okay, so there you go. It's, it's got a fairly decent coat of paint on here. Let me shut the fan off. Um, and it's got a fairly decent coat of paint on here. And uh, let's wait for that to dry. And then we'll move on to the stage of putting on the uh, tool. Alright, so now I'm, I'm, I'm at the stage where I want to be able to put in the chain link piece of the fence. And as I mentioned before, I have various different types of uh, um, um, mesh that I use. These are basically ribbon uh, oh, from dollar, dollar stores and so on. This one's very, very shimmery. Um, I have this one here too, which is a little bit uh, less shimmery, but also has a bit more black tint to it. Uh, and then the one I, I really like using um, is really it's wedding wedding tulle. Uh, as you can see, this one's a, 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 a white wedding tulle. Um, and I also, if I'm painting a gray or a fence to simulate a, a regular uh, zinc coated fence, um, anodized, sorry, zinc uh, coated fence, I would uh, put the white tulle on it uh, and then spray paint the whole thing gray. Um, but since I'm making a black uh, fence this time, and you'll see why when I take it onto the layout, um, I have chosen to use black tulle. Uh, I already have some black tulle. Uh, the camera is having a hard time focusing on it. Um, there you go. And this is really the essentially the same as the white one, just that it's, it's just black in color. Uh, and then therefore, because it's already black, I'm just going to paint the frame. Uh, and I'm going to basically glue on uh, the two onto it like that. Okay, so before I glue it on, the first step I need to do here is to cut a strip of this uh, two. Uh, <clears throat> now I need to cut it a little bit shorter because um, this 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 platform consumes some of the height of the fence. Uh, <clears throat> so. So because it consumes some of the height of the fence, just going to measure exactly how much it, uh, okay, this one comes all the way up to, to here, which is basically from the edge all the way to the eight and a half millimeter mark. Okay, so I roughly know how high I need to go now. Put this away. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut this tool over here. This is a nicer edge on this side. <clears throat> so I'm going to lay it, a little excess, excess here, lay it out like that, and then also pivot it up, make sure I have sufficient for the whole thing. Yep, that's sufficient. Um, now I'm going to Cut the two over here. I'm actually going to cut excess more than what I actually need. And if you're looking for which make I have, this is the one I have. It's just generic uh, tool. Um, I got this at Michael's, I think. 
they have them in various different colors but I just uh, chose to get a black and a white and the, therefore you can just pretty much make any combination from there that you need um, okay a little weird here okay all right so there's the piece I'm going to make sure I have sufficient for this little piece here Make sure I have sufficient for the bottom and pivot it up. There. So I know I need to glue it somewhere around here. Just gonna put a little marker here and I went. That's where I want to keep the fence. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some CA or cyanoacrylate glue on here. And let's let those markers there so I know exactly where to place the fence back down now. And I put a dab on here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of glue on here actually. I can close that up in a bit. There. And now I'm going to carefully place this over here. Actually we grab grab a Is here so it doesn't keep shaking on me. There, okay, make sure it grabs well, M move it around so it doesn't, doesn't stick on the uh, on the surface below. So I'm gonna put a little bit of weight on here. It's a bit more heavier. So it's gonna weigh it down a bit. Move it so it doesn't catch. There. There you go. Isn't that sharp? Keep it like that. Keep a little bit of tension on it so it's going to going to adhere well. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes, then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna fade out and I'll uh, bring you back when I'm ready to glue this side of it now. Okay, because this side I'm just holding it in place. This piece has now been glued. Okay, so 
as you can see, it seems like this side has dried up pretty well. Um, the uh, the CA glue has seemed to have dried. It's got a little bit of glisten to it, but that'll 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 go away. Um, and uh, it looks pretty sharp, I think. Once I see the finished product. So what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to be able to hold it from this side, but I need to now put the glue on this side. Put the glue on this side here because I had to get a chance to glue this side part of the L part of the frame here. So um, I'm just going to uh, lay this down flat for a second. Take some more CA glue and do the same thing I did last time. Let's put some glue on here. Was too much on at the edge. I, I tried to take take the little edges out of there. It's too much. Um, here, like that. Just tap it out. If not, it'll tend to blot out on the. Uh, and now, now all I'm going to do here is just pull it taut like that, and. Oops, my fingers are getting caught to this CA glue. Oh, there's something on there. So I'm just going to put it down like this. Make sure it's nice and flat. I'm going to push it down. Move it around. As I'm pushing it down, I'm... There we go. Apply a little bit of pressure so that the uh, the tool catches onto the verticals, and I'm moving it around a bit as well so that the glue doesn't catch on the uh, on the wood below it. Oops, grabbing one of my fingers there. There we go. Now, originally, I was actually going to cut the mesh uh, just above the platform, but I figured, you know what, I'm just going to run it right all the way down at the bottom. Um, it won't be visible anyways um, below the platform. So there, it seems like it's holding in place. And now all I have to do is need to let that dry for a bit and then just cut down the, uh, the tool to the right right size okay so it seemed to have uh, dried up and uh, and adhering well to the to the uh, frame so all I have to do now is basically trim off the edges and there's two ways you can do this you can use a an exacto knife uh, or you can actually use a scissor I'm, I'm gonna use a scissor this time um, and uh, Show you how I do it. Let's grab a scissor here and just cut the edge, uh, trim the edge off. So Still a little tacky. See here.
There you go, almost there. I need to go all the way to the end because there's one extra piece like that. There's a little bit of a lip here. I'm my... gonna trim this down a bit like that. So now I cut the bottom excess off. Uh, oops, I'm gonna have missed a spot over there, so just need to trim that out a bit. There you go. Yeah, that's nice and sharp there. And if you have a few imperfections, that's okay because it helps to add to the authenticity of our fence because you know no fence is is always uh always perfect right so you'll always see uh bent bent vertical beams or or holes in the mesh and so on so now i'm basically going to cut the top uh top excess off just following around the line of the uh There you go, almost done. Now I just gotta do the this little piece over here. Oops. Just the last piece to trim out here. There you go. Okay, so there you go. There's your finished uh, chain link chain link fence. There we go. It's able to finally focus on there. It looks pretty sharp. Now I put a little bit of a lip at the end here because on my station there's a little bit of a raised section, so that's why I did that intentionally. Uh, but I think it's come out pretty, pretty sharp. Um, if I can say so myself. Uh, this is how it looks from the inside. Bit of a background to catch. There we go. Okay, so I'm laid down here. There's a chain link fence, and now here's a platform which it goes on. Let me slide off. And you you have a chain link fence for your for your platform. I'm just going to take the camera to a position that. Uh, can see it better. There you go. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so all we have left to do now is to take this over to the layout and position it over there. Again, this technique has been used by many folks on on, um, on model railroads, and I believe there are some other um, professional YouTubers, uh, model railroad YouTubers, who have shown um, this technique very well. I'm just demonstrating what I've done here with this particular fence, but uh, um, um, I think this technique works very well and uh, brings a nice authentic look to it. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll show you the uh, the, the, uh, the fence. I was 
talking to you about that we just finished up on the layout uh, it's basically a fence for the uh, platform for this little rural station uh, on the layout I think it uh, came out pretty sharp um, please leave your thoughts in the comments section I'd love to hear from you and um, I think it suits it pretty well with the theme of black uh, fencing around on the bridge with the black uh, railings as well and the black street lamps I think the black fence goes pretty well with that Here's a close-up of it. I will be adding more details to this section soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the process of building this fence. If you have any questions or any insights, um, please don't hesitate to contact me or uh, or reach me via the comment section. Thanks.